Hey, everybody, it's Mark Taylor Canfield. I'm playing my electric guitar in the studio, so... That gives you a little bit of an idea of the kind of stuff that I've been doing lately. So, you know, messing around with the bluesy stuff, you know. And plenty of, you know, Jimi Hendrix style playing. You know, it's all fun when you're playing an electric guitar with a humbucker. It's a pair of humbuckers right there uh, through a nice Marshall amp because you get that classic crunchy sound that all musicians love that you, you, know, you hear everybody from metal bands to ZZ Top using. So that gives you an idea of what things sound like when I'm in the studio, which is where I am today. Doing some crazy stuff with the electric guitar and some other instruments I've got in here. Um, which you can't see right now, but plenty of instruments are trumpet, violin, there's a cello, there's a bunch of electric guitars, and you know. And the studio is filling up with stuff, and it's great because um, it's really nice to have a place to really do your thing and enjoy your time, you know, doing your creative pursuits. So, uh, shout out to the drummer. That I just ran into a trading musician. I love that place, right? And uh, yeah, so get a cool little practice space where we can do our art on a regular basis and we're ready to go. So uh, let me get closer here. I'm going to just explain to you what's been going on with me. So, hey, here's one thing I got my ballot, right? So, mail in balloting in Martin Luther King Jr. County. So, we've got some important races going on, including, including the mayor. So we've got Bruce Harrell versus Lorena Gonzalez here. And we've got uh, Teresa Mosqueda, who's also, she and Lorena Gonzalez were both endorsed by Senator Bernie Sanders. Um, yes, you know, you ask why is he endorsing uh, a race in Seattle? Because local politics is very important in terms here and here in terms of a, a national kind of influence. So what happens in Seattle actually a lot of times spreads across the country, including the $15 an hour minimum wage and uh, marriage equality legal cannabis things like that so um, we're considered a bellwether and so Bernie likes to try to produce wins in Seattle for the progressive movement so we've got um, Nikita Oliver uh, Nikita Oliver is also running for Seattle City Council um, and man you can expect some change if uh, Nikita gets elected so there we go there's some important races the City Council uh, is having re-elections and also wow there's this crazy thing going on with the with the uh, city attorneys race which is a lot of you know propaganda going out against uh, Nicole Thomas Kennedy for her previous statements about police and her you know she was outraged by some of the things she saw during the Black Lives Matter uh, protests last year police brutality so you know, so they're using that against her, and it's the typical smear campaign uh, that business interests and more conservative elements like to use in this area uh, for political means. And um, so she's being uh, cast as some kind of crazy radical anarchist. You know, you can always count on the conservative elements to blame Seattle for everything and to always claim that uh, it's run by anarchists and socialists and that you know everything is out of control here and it's all you know um, it's just craziness but uh, if you live here you, you'll find something different you know and there is a corporate element and a, actually in this case a Republican uh, running for city attorney which is almost unheard of in, in such a 
neoliberal and progressive sort of town. So uh, here you go. We've got Ann Davison, who is being backed by some of the same folks who want to increase the budget instead of uh, decrease the police budget. They uh, want to hire more police. They want to, you know, cut corporate taxes rather than increase them. So uh, they're against a lot of the more progressive campaigns and movements that city council members like Shama Sawant, the, the Socialist Alternative Party member, has uh, been backing for quite a while now. Um, and she, by the way, has been successful in getting ordinances passed and helping to get ordinances passed that have actually extended a moratorium on er evictions and um, have tried to get rental assistance to people and things like that. So. She's out for a Seattle Green New Deal right now. That's what she would like to see. And she wants to raise the corporate tax to raise, I think, like $102 million or something to help uh, contribute to affordable housing projects and also uh, this Seattle Green New Deal where Seattle becomes a leader in the green tech industries. So there you go. This is Mark Taylor Canfield reporting from Seattle with my trusty beautiful guitar, which I sometimes like to play. Actually, I like to play a lot. <laughs> Yeah, oh, we have fun together. I really like this beautiful guitar, um, and I like all my instruments and all my guitars, but I especially like this one. So, a shout out to everybody out there doing music and uh, all the artists and bands in Seattle. Uh, I love you all, and we'll be meeting soon in the clubs, which are reopening again and stuff starting to to break wide open. So we'll see a lot of you out there. Uh, in the clubs, and uh, this is Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle, still working on the EP in the studio, um, still recording songs like, uh, actually, we've already mastered Keeping Up With The Joneses and Eclipse, and I mastered uh, Didn't Really Want To Want You just the other day, so we've got that done, but now I'm working on the Save The Showbox song, and another one, which might be a surprise for you all, which I won't mention right now, but... <laughs> It's a, a new song, <laughs> and uh, it might be called something like mm, Tear Gas in Seattle or something like that, just to give you a clue. But this is Mark Taylor Camphill in Seattle. Just wanted to check in with you all and play you uh, a little bit from my my favorite guitar here and the love of my life, and I will talk to you soon. Uh, check me out on YouTube. You can always subscribe to my YouTube channel to get, I think there's over 500 or some, you know, uh, 500 original videos there with uh, no ads so if you don't like the ads on YouTube go to my channel you'll get politics and music and all sorts of stuff there's even like classic radio plays and old movies and stuff you can find there uh, also I'm on Twitter of course and uh, Facebook and all the rest of that stuff <laughs> This is Mark Taylor Canfield from Seattle. Peace out, y'all.